And we do have the opportunity to understand whether or not there are susceptible children, perhaps genetically, perhaps they have a metabolic uh, issue, mitochondrial disorder, immunological issue, that makes them more susceptible to vaccines, plural, or to one particular vaccine, or to a component of the vaccine, like mercury. So we now, in these times, have to, I think, take another look at that hypothesis, not deny it. And I think we have the tools today that we didn't have 10 years ago, that we didn't have 20 years ago, to try and tease that out and find out if indeed there is that susceptible group. Why is this important? A susceptible group does not mean that vaccines aren't good. What a susceptible group will tell us is that maybe there is a group of individuals or a group of children that shouldn't have a particular vaccine or shouldn't have vaccine on the same schedule. I do not believe that if we identified a susceptibility group, if we identified a particular risk factor for vaccines, or if we found out that maybe they should be spread out a little longer, I do not believe that the public would lose faith in vaccines. But it is the job of the public health community and of physicians to be out there and to say, yes, we can make it safer because we are able to say this is a subset. We're going to deliver it in a way that we think is safer. So I think the public would respect that. But public health officials have been saying they know. They've been implying to the public they know there's enough evidence and it's not causal. I think you can't say that. And part of the, um, I think, you can't say that. I think the government or certain public health officials in the government are, have been too quick to dismiss the concerns of these families without studying the population that got sick. I haven't seen major studies that focus on 300 kids who got uh, autistic symptoms within a period of a few weeks of a vaccine. Uh, I think that the public health officials have been too quick to dismiss the hypothesis as irrational without sufficient studies of causation. I think that they often have been too quick to dismiss studies in the animal laboratory, either in mice, either in primates, that do show some concerns with regard to certain vaccines and also to the mercury preservative in vaccines. The government has said in a report by the Institute of Medicine, and by the way, I'm a member of the Institute of Medicine, I love the Institute of Medicine, but a report in 2004, it basically said, do not pursue susceptibility groups. Don't look for those patients, those children who may be vulnerable. I really take issue with that conclusion.